questions or you want me to just go in narrative? Just give the statement first, I guess. Sure. Yeah, if you okay. can say your name and spell it. Sure. Perfect. So, uh, Sergeant Ronald Terrace with the Torrance Police Department, currently the Public Information Officer. Uh, so, unfortunately, last night at about 11.54, uh, Gable House, Gable House Bowl, located at 22501 uh, Hawthorne Boulevard, officers responded to a call of shots fired. Upon arrival, they discovered uh, seven subjects uh, had been down. Uh, Unfortunately, three were determined to be deceased at the scene. Uh, two additional were transferred to a local hospital uh, with injuries, and uh, two more uh, were also struck by gunfire. Uh, however, they opted to seek their own medical attention. Uh, we currently have investigators on scene right now uh, to identify the suspects uh, and whoever else was involved. And again, our hearts uh, go out to the families who have uh, lost loved ones uh, during this incident. I'll take any questions. Can you just confirm the number of of deceased? Uh, right now it's three. Uh, we have three males, unfortunately, that are deceased. Do you have any suspects in custody? Uh, no. Uh, right now we are currently working with investigators uh, to try to determine who the suspect is and identify that person and apprehend them. Do you believe that there is only one shooter? Uh, unknown at this time. Again, our detectives are on scene and they'll be working out those details. Okay. Do you believe this is considered an act of terrorism or was this just a domestic dispute? Well, uh, it's, it's very hard uh, to put a classification on this right now. Uh, we're just looking at this as an unfortunate incident. Um, but our detectives are on scene to uh, talk to all the witnesses, uh, look at the evidence, and again, uh, try to determine what the motive is. Were, were these people targeted, do you think, or were they, were, they ran, were, they, were they the targets, or was it just a random shooting that you can gather at this point or do you know? Well, uh, again, those details uh, will come out later in the investigation. Um, our detectives are on scene to, uh, again, try to identify what the motive is. Were all these in one group? Were all, were all these people pulling together? Were they all in the same? Did all the victims have been shot? Were they all together? Well, the information that we have right now is that uh, the victims were all in the same location. Uh, again, uh, it's unknown what the actual relation to each victim is. Do you have any information on the caliber size of the weapon used? Uh, those details will come out later in the investigation. Okay. What's well, it, like, uh, it like on a Friday night there? Is it usually gets pretty packed, isn't it? Isn't it pretty busy on a Friday? Was it purely packed when this happened? Um, well, the uh, the amount of uh, patrons uh, uh, that were at the location tonight, I, I don't have a comfort for you on, uh, but uh, what I can tell you is that that is a, uh, a popular spot to go bowling. Was there a dispute before the shooting took place? Uh, uh, the events that led up to the shooting are, are still being investigated at this point. So you have three males dead, three male victims dead, right? And then you, then you have two that were taken to a hospital and two that didn't get three, didn't refuse treatment, is that what you're saying? Uh, yes, uh, four, two, four. Yeah. yes, two opted to uh, seek their own medical um, attention. And those two did suffer from gunshot wounds? That's correct. Okay. Can you say those victims, are they two men, two women, or three men and one woman? Uh, all victims uh, are males. All males? Yes. Do you have any ages, or did you cover that already? Uh, don't have any ages at this point. Again, um, our, our detectives are on scene to uh, try to uh, identify the victims as well, and again, uh, those uh, identifications will be made later in the investigation, uh, any notification of can. Preliminarily, is it safe to say that all victims are over the age of 18? Uh, I, I don't have uh, any specifics on the age right now. Do you know if this bowling alley serves alcohol? Uh, unknown. Okay. Have there been any prior incidents at this bowling alley? Have there been fights or other shootings, or is this the first? Uh, I, I can't speak to any previous incidents, uh, but I can tell you this one right right now is it, it is very unfortunate. And again, uh, you know, our, our condolences go out to the families. Can you say about any any gang related at this point? Do you know? Uh, I don't have any information uh, about that, but uh, I can tell you our investigators will be looking at um, all the evidence and, and, again, really trying to identify who these suspects are. So should the public be worried? I mean, you don't have anybody in custody, but someone's running around, maybe one or more people. Is well, that I something can, that would, you need to, yeah. I can tell you right now that public safety is is, is, is priority, obviously, with, uh, with any law enforcement agency, and particularly with our department. And you have numerous investigators on scene. It's still an active investigation. And uh, we'll do our best to uh, identify these individuals as quickly as possible. Were there uh, any security inside, uh, armed security or just security in general? Uh, I am aware that uh, that location does have security. Do you know how many were on duty at the time? or? Uh, I do not. When you, when you 
you guys, have you all had a shooting this large? Has it been a while? Has it been a while that you've had several people shot as a normal occurrence, I guess, with the bullet crack? Um, like, I would say that any shooting uh, should be classified as an unusual occurrence. Again, um, it, it's, it's a tragic situation. Um, it's very unfortunate that uh, people lost their lives last night.